Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Of course, it might not be morning for you, but whenever you watch this, hello, how are you? God bless you. All right. I've got, an, I want to share Sunday's news, uh, prophecy letter from Dawn. It only has three messages, but one is from somebody called Dawn Halleck. I think I've heard the name, but um, not sure. <laughs> Okay, let's start off with The Trumpet, sorry, The Trumpet by Bill Burns. All right, this is a dynamic spiritual time. Yes, it is. So I say, arise and go forth with good expectations in these days regarding those things I will do on your behalf. For the darkness of this world is invading our space. Boy, hallelujah, that's the truth. Or maybe I should say, boy, howdy. I don't know about hallelujah, but it's invading my space real big time. How about yours? Okay, for the darkness of this world is invading our space and is coming to bear upon this planet. But... You are children of the light. You are those I have chosen to spread the glory of my presence and power in these days. Not in this body. It will be changed. But he's not telling us that in this message. All right, I'll continue. Know that I have chosen you for this special time, and I will empower you according to my word and bless you according to my ways. Go forth in the power that I have provided. Now, if you just read that, not knowing the prophecies that have come forth, not knowing the scriptures he's talking about, you might think, I'm going to go forth in this body. I'm so tired I can't even clean my house right. I'm so tired, Lord, I can hardly read my Bible. How do you expect me to go forth in the power? What power? I keep praying for more energy, and it just doesn't seem to come. Lord, I don't understand. Well, that's because he's not talking about us in the natural. Think about it. He, when we, when we those who have been found worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass, that's the first fruits. That is the barley harvest. Tell some people, there's a barley harvest and then there's a wheat harvest. Pastor Sandy refuses and others I've tried to tell, they must just delete my comments and go, crazy woman. They're supposed to be pastors and they don't believe it. You try telling your, if you, any of you all still go to a church, go up to your preacher and ask him, Pastor, what is this I hear about there's a barley harvest for the bride of Christ and the babies and the innocents, and then there's going to be, they're coming back to help those who got left behind, and then, then there's a, a, a huge rapture for the multitude, too big to number, and, and they're calling that the weed harvest. What can you explain that to me? And they're gonna make out like somebody has gone off their rocker and pulled some scriptures and twisted them out of context. That's what you'll hear at church. Because they haven't studied the word of God with the help of the Holy Spirit. They haven't received any Rima word to help add to the word of God. That's why in Acts 2.17 it says, For in the end days I will pour out my spirit on all mankind, and my sons and my daughters shall prophesy. Let's see. Let me pull it up. Hold on. 
I want to make sure I'm quoting it right. Acts, I had to think a minute, 217. Okay, I want NASB. And it shall be in the last days, God says, and it's all caps. You know why? Because it was also prophesied in Joel chapter 2. I believe that one's 38 and 39. And it shall be in the last days, God says, that I will pour forth of my spirit on all mankind, literally flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Well, it's worded that way, but lots of people are getting dreams. Lots of people are getting visions. Lots of people are prophesying. We do have to have discernment. And I just prayed for some more and wisdom to know what the words are actually saying. Okay, let me read the next one. Even on my bond slaves both men and women, I will in those days pour forth of my spirit and they shall prophesy. Now, you could read on. It goes on into what's going to happen. All right, I'll read it. I love the word. So I love this word especially. And I will grant wonders in the sky above and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. That sounds like volcanoes to me, but it'll be that and more. The sun will be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and glorious day of the Lord shall come. Now, the day of the Lord is at the sixth seal. That's the day of the Lord when they say the rich and the mighty men and like the generals and all, all the elites and Illuminatis and Freemasons and their families and those who've been promised a spot or rich enough to buy uh, an apartment down under in the deep underground military base is called Dumbs. They'll go running into the caves. And John heard them say, rocks fall on us. Because they think that's going to save them. And that happens at the sixth seal. All right. When there's a great earthquake. Uh, the rocks are going to fall in on them. The Lord's going to take care of them. They might not all die, but a lot of them probably will. And water from the tsunamis will rush in. Of course, they have big doors that'll shut. I'm sure they've taken care of that, but I bet a lot of them die. Okay, and, and it goes on to say, And it shall be that everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. I believe it is my personal opinion that that means when all this is going down, if you have not yet taken the V and you call upon the name of the Lord Jesus because you you found yourself still here, you will be saved. If you cry out, Jesus, save me, your soul will be saved. Your body might not be, but your soul and your spirit will go to heaven. All right. That doesn't mean you can call upon him one time, be saved, and for the rest of your life, you don't have to do a thing. No, sir. Don't even take that out of context. All right. Let's go back to what we were doing. Uh, reading. Okay. So that's the end. Um, yeah, so 
That's how come he can say, Know that I have chosen you for this special time, and I will empower you according to my word. His word says, Greater things than these shall you do. That has not happened yet. Nobody's done greater things than Jesus. That's yet to come to those who come back in their glorified bodies to help those that God will instruct us to help and bless you according to my ways. Go forth in the power that I have provided. He has provided it. It just isn't in us yet. Moving on to Small Straws by Marsha Burns. Drink spiritual forces. I'm sorry, drink. It's this, this eye is, okay. Dark spiritual forces are trying to close in and choke out or obliterate the light of the Spirit of the Lord. Quiet your soul in an effort to realize the importance and necessity of pushing back the darkness with your belief and embracing light and truth. Break through difficult times by walking in the spirit. Everybody needs to keep asking to be filled with the Holy Spirit if you are not. You want to walk in the Spirit. You want to pray in the Spirit. That's in tongues. You, that's how you can pray for things you know not of. That's how the scripture puts it. All right. So just keep asking. Don't. Don't deny him. Do not deny him. Saying, I don't need that. That's wrong. I don't need that. Yes, you do. Psalm 43, 3. Oh, send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your tabernacle. Amen and amen. Oh, don't we want a tabernacle with the Lord? Yes, we do. And nothing unholy will enter into the kingdom of God. You can look that up. It's a scripture. Hey, what are you chewing on? Your giraffe? You chewing on your giraffe? All right, that's all right. That's yours. Just checking. Now, this is called a message from the Father. I had to pray over this. I said, every word of this certainly could have come from the Father. None of it's wrong. I, I don't know why I just felt the need to pray about it. But anyway, it was given April 18th, and today is April 18th. Anyway, I'm going to move ahead. You can pray about it, but I, either I can find nothing wrong with it. Message from the Father, given to Dawn Halleck. Daughter. Thank you for seeking me for words today for my people. I want to tell my people this, that I love them very much and am anxious to see them face to face very soon. That's wonderful. Stay in my word. That's the truth. Keep telling people about me. And my plans for them. Now that one is conditional. If they haven't taken the V. Because it's too late for them. 
so why waste your breath? Don't cast your pearls among swine. Okay, that's a scripture. You don't give what is beautiful to pigs, lest they turn and rend on rend. How is it? Lest they turn and tear you to pieces. All right. So otherwise, keep telling people about me and my plans for them. If they'll listen, okay? You don't want to force it on anybody. There again, don't cast your pearls before swine. Keep looking up as your redemption draws nigh. I am coming very soon to gather my bride out of the earth. Hallelujah. Stay ready each day for my call by praying for others if they haven't taken the V. And I'm adding that because don't waste your time. Um, if you don't know, then don't worry about it. Go ahead and pray for them. And repenting when you do something wrong. Okay, there you go. That is so true. I want as many people as possible to be called home. And I know he does. And I'll continue. There's one more. Rest in my peace until I call. We just have to stay in peace, knowing God has this, that Jesus has us. The Holy Spirit is here inside of us, and you want more and more and more until you're completely filled, if you're not already, of the Holy Spirit, I mean. Anyway, he signs it, Abba, Father. He finishes it with Abba, Father. Now, here's a scripture from Isaiah 13, 2 through 6. Lift up a sign upon the mountain plain. Raise up high the voice to them. Do not fear. Call for aid with the hand. Call for aid with the hand. I'm not 100% sure what that means. If you're lift up a sign upon a mountain plain, call for, I don't know what version this is. Okay, let me continue. Open, O oh rulers, I order and I lead them. Giants come to fill my rage, that, that threw me. Giants come to fill my rage, rejoicing together and insulting. I can see that. A voice of many nations upon the mountains, like many nations, a voice of kings and nations being brought together. Yahweh of hosts has given charge to a nation of armed warriors. They come from out of a land at a distance, from the extremity of the foundation of the heaven. Yahweh and his armed warriors wait a minute these giants come wait a minute y'all wait wait no 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 Yahweh of hosts has given charge to a nation of armed warriors okay so these are God's armed warriors they come from out of a land at a distance from the extremity of the foundation of the heaven. Yahweh and his armed warriors 
to ruin all the world. Shriek, for the day of Yahweh is near and destruction by El Shaddai shall come. Oh my goodness, this is another scripture that proves we come back with Jesus. Yahweh of hosts has given charge to a nation of armed warriors. That is his bride. We will be the harvest army. We will be given instructions. We will come back and we are going to kick some demon butt okay we're going to be delivering people healing people possibly bringing them back from the dead i believe uh feeding them getting them clean water all kinds of stuff things that jesus didn't even do so that's going to be amazing so it says they come from out of a land at a distance from the extremity of the foundation of the heaven Yahweh and his armed warriors to ruin all the world shriek for the day of Yahweh is near, and destruction by El Shaddai shall come. Oh, praise be to you, O oh Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I didn't get that when I read it before. <sighs> what a scripture to add to this. I pray, brothers and sisters, I pray we are all found worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man so we can come back with Jesus and be part of his harvest army. Won't it be wonderful? You think on that. The next time you get discouraged from things going on, believe me, there's enough around to discourage you. But we have a whole lot to think ahead to. What will we be doing? What can we do that Jesus hasn't done? It's going to be amazing. God bless each and every one of you. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over the um, over each and every one of us, our devices, and our internet connections. And with that, I will say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.